How's everybody doing today? Keto family, Matt Choice here. And today I'm going to show you five of the best ways to make eggs. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. So you'll be notified every time I release a new video. And also, please feel free to share this out with anybody you feel would benefit from watching this video. Friends, family, coworkers, Facebook groups, Instagram, anybody you want to share it out to, you have my permission. This video was suggested by one of my very first subscribers, Danny Statton. Thank you so much, Danny, for being a longtime supporter of this channel. This video is for you, Danny, and everyone else here. If you have a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if it's a good idea for a video, I'll make a video on it. And guess what? I'll give you credit for it right in the video. So the five best ways to cook eggs, in my opinion, are very simple, believe it or not. You got hard boiled eggs, soft boiled eggs, hard fried, sunny side up, sunny side down, over easy, over medium, over hard. Then you have egg omelets. You can make omelets. You can make scrambled eggs. And if you're fancy, you got poached eggs which are delicious. I love poached eggs. You can make your eggs Benedict. I'm going to show you how to do the top five right now. The first method I'm going to show you is boiling eggs. So you take about a half liter of water and you boil it. And all you do is drop the eggs in once the water is boiling and you leave them in there for about 10 minutes. You could have them hard boiled or soft boiled. If you want them soft boiled, you have it in there for about six to seven minutes and put it on a timer. Another way to do it is to just fry the eggs in a pan. I use a non-stick pan and you could use butter, one tablespoon of butter or a tablespoon of oil. I like to use walnut oil. I mean, you could use coconut oil. I wouldn't recommend olive oil because olive oil does not have a high smoking point so it changes the consistency of the oil. We're going to fry up some eggs. I'm using the eggs I got from Dollar Tree. These eggs look great by the way. They look like cage free organic eggs but they're only a dollar. I'll link the video above so you can see what I got from Dollar Tree. An amazing keto grocery haul. Keep it on medium heat. You don't want it too hot. About a tablespoon. Once the pan is heated up sufficiently, just put the eggs in. Crack them on the side and put them in the pan. Feel free to add salt and pepper if you want as well while they're cooking. All right, so now these eggs are sunny side up. Now what we could do is just turn them. So now these will be fried eggs. Fried eggs are done. Only took about two minutes. Now we're gonna make scrambled eggs. We're gonna crack some eggs into a bowl. We're gonna put some salt and pepper. And whisk it. Whisk it as hard as you can to mix the eggs as much as you can and just put it into the pan with a little bit of oil, about a one tablespoon of oil. Now to scramble them, all you gotta do is break them up as it cooks. Scrambled eggs are so fast to cook. I just cooked it in a minute 
And there you go, scrambled eggs, perfect scrambled eggs. We're gonna do the same method. You could use three or four eggs. You could add a little bit of greens to this too, like scallions, spinach. And then if you did that, you put a little greens, then you mix it up. Just like scrambled eggs. Put a little oil in the pan. Drop it in the pan. The water has been boiling for about five minutes, so now it's time to drop just the eggs into the boiling water. So now we're making an omelet. You could top it with cheese if you want, or vegetables. Okay, so now we're gonna just fold it in half. Perfect. Let it cook on one side for about a minute and then we're gonna flip it. There we go, another minute and this omelet should be done. All right, in the grand finale, now to make some poached eggs. So we have a pan with about a half liter of water boiling. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar. And that's it, let it boil and then we're gonna add the eggs. The hard boiled eggs have just finished, it's been about 10 minutes. So now I'm just gonna strain them and put them back into cold water so that they'll be easy to remove the shells. The water and vinegar mixture is boiling, so now it's time to add the eggs. Now they do sell those metal tins that you could put into the pan as well, so the eggs would be a perfect cylinder shape. If you're not looking for the shape, you just want the poached eggs, this is exactly what you do. All right, it's been about five minutes and the eggs look like they've been sufficiently boiled. The centers will have a runny yolk. And there you have it, poached eggs made simple. Absolutely amazing, absolutely incredible. And there it is, eggs five ways. You got scrambled, hard fried, an omelet, hard-boiled eggs, and poached eggs. Absolutely amazing. This is amazing. Eggs five ways. I love eggs in general. They are amazing on keto and even carnivore. I mean, eggs are essential. Packed with vitamins and nutrients. And what goes great with eggs? Hot sauce. I like Frank's Red Hot. Hot sauce is great with eggs. Delicious, of course, eggs go great with vegetables, cheese. Eggs are just so versatile. Can't go wrong with bacon and eggs. So I got some bacon frying up on the pan. So I can't wait to have this with bacon and eggs. And yes, this is a large portion for me. I'll probably eat like half of this, but maybe I'm gonna eat the whole thing because I'm pretty hungry, but yes, it's incredible. And don't let it fool you, the cholesterol in eggs is not bad for you. Hope you guys learned a thing or two about making eggs. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all be safe and be well. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Metroid signing out.